Welcome to Picture Scripture Memory System for the book of Matthew. In this video, you'll learn the titles of each of the chapters of Matthew 1 to 28. It may be easier to use the other videos that are shorter to learn chapters 1 to 5 and then 6 to 10. But this one has it all, and you can kind of scrub back and forth to learn kind of five chapters at a time. But if you pay attention to the pictures, you'll remember the titles of the chapters, so that in the end, I can say chapter 10, and you'll know that that's the sons of 12 apostles. You'll know chapter 13. I'll just be able to say the number 13, and you'll know that's parables of the kingdom, seeds and weeds. I'll be able to say what chapter is the Palm Sunday story in, and you'll say chapter 21 without thinking, just knowing the pictures. What chapter is the transfiguration in? And you'll say chapter 17, and you'll know that instantly. The good part about this is that if you review every once in a while, you will remember the, the chapter titles of the book of Matthew almost indefinitely. So buckle up, pay attention to the pictures, and learn the chapter titles of every chapter in the book of Matthew. So here we go, chapters 1 to 5. First of all, you need to learn the number system. Every chapter in the book of Matthew will have a picture of Humpty Dumpty on it. The major theme of Matthew is Christ is King. Chapter 1 will have an arrow. Chapter 2 will have a bicycle, two wheels on a bicycle. Chapter 3 will be triggered by a tricycle, three wheels on a tricycle. And chapter 4 will be triggered by a car, four wheels on a car. Chapter 5 will be triggered by a hand. Give me five. So keep in mind the one is an arrow, two is a bicycle, three is a tricycle, four is a car, and chapter five is a hand scene. Give me five. All right, we're ready to begin. So just sit back and enjoy these humorous pictures and remember the book of Matthew chapter by chapter. Matthew chapter 1. The arrow piercing Humpty is for chapter 1. The scroll of paper he is holding is a genealogy. The chicks coming out of him is birth. Matthew chapter 2. Chapter 2 is the two wheels on the bicycle. Humpty has a graduation cap on. He's a wise man. Infants are the chicks riding in the back of his bicycle. Egypt is the bike he bought. He got gypped and is saying, He gypped me for Egypt. The sign says, To Nazareth. Matthew chapter 3. Chapter 3 is the three wheels on the tricycle. John the Baptist is the pelican because he's got a baptistry in his beak. Baptism is Humpty being pulled out of the water as if he were being baptized. Matthew chapter 4. Chapter 4 is the four wheels on the car. Temptation is a temptation the turtle has, wanting to knock Humpty off his wall. The turtle represents the disciples who were slow to believe. Humpty is calling to them, telling them not to do it, thus calls disciples. Matthew chapter 5. 5 is the hand, as in gimme 5. Humpty's hands are strangling the bee. The bee has a bad attitude, so he has a bee attitude. The Ten Commandment-like tablet saying, Thou shalt not steal honey, is on law. Murder is Humpty strangling the bee. Divorce is Mrs. Humpty taking off her wedding ring. Well, that was easy enough. Now let's look at the pictures and you tell me the title for the chapter. What's Matthew chapter 1? That's right. Matthew chapter 1 is genealogy birth. What's Matthew chapter 2? That's right. Matthew chapter 2 is wise men, infants, Egypt to Nazareth. What's Matthew chapter 3? That's right. Chapter 3 is John the Baptist, baptism. What's Matthew chapter 4? 
That's right. Chapter 4 is Temptation Calls Disciples. What's Matthew chapter 5? That's right. Chapter 5 is Beatitudes on Murder, Law, Divorce. Okay, that's great. Now you're into the mastery. I'll ask you what chapter it is. You recall the picture in your mind and then the title for each chapter. You can do this. What's Matthew chapter 1? That's right. Matthew chapter 1 is genealogy birth. What's Matthew chapter 2? That's right. Matthew chapter 2 is Wise Men, Infants, Egypt to Nazareth. What's Matthew chapter 3? That's right. Chapter 3 is John the Baptist, Baptism. What's Matthew chapter 4? That's right. Chapter 4 is Temptation Calls Disciples. What's Matthew chapter 5? That's right. Chapter 5 is Beatitudes on Murder, Law, Divorce. The number system for chapters 6 through 10 is chapter 6. There are six legs on a bug. So it'll be a bug scene. Chapter 7. 7 is heaven. Kind of a divine number. Chapter 8 is a roller coaster laid sideways. Chapter 9 is a doctor's head mirror. And chapter 10 is from 10 Little Indians. Matthew chapter 6. Six legs on the bugs is chapter 6. Jesus on is represented by the cross. Humpty is giving up his crown at the foot of the cross is on giving. Praying is the praying mantis. The dragonfly with a long stinger-like tail is the fast sting or fasting. The bee with a bag of golden honey is riches. Matthew chapter 7. 7 is heaven. So the scene is in the clouds of heaven. The one behind the desk is the judge, judging. Humpty is asking a question. The bag on the right has fruit in it for fruit checking. The foolish man is Humpty with the dunce cap. The bag of rocks is for the wise man to build his house on. Golden rule is the ruler to the left of Humpty sizing him up. Matthew chapter 8. Chapter 8 is represented in the roller coaster, which looks like a sideways 8. Centurion's servant is Humpty as a servant with a ball and chain pushing the ride that is called the Centurion. The skunk gives off a strong scent, which is also for Centurion. Peter's mother-in-law is the one riding first in the boat. Calm sea is the sea that the boat is sliding into. Demoniacs are the two devil-like characters riding in the boat. Matthew chapter 9 The doctor's mirror on his head looks like a nine. The doctor is kneeling as if forgiving sin. The sin is Humpty eating turtles while sitting on a turtle. The turtle is being squashed, traveling less fast than he used to. This represents the fastless disciples. There is a woman with an issue protesting against Humpty's turtle abuse. Woman with an issue. She is Jairus's daughter. Matthew chapter 10. 
The number ten is triggered by the Indian, as in ten little Indians. Sends twelve is Humpty pointing and sending the disciple turtles out. Congratulations! You've just gone through chapters six through ten. Now the challenge is: I'll show you the pictures. You tell me the titles for each chapter. What's chapter six? That's right. Matthew chapter six is Jesus on giving, praying, fasting, and riches. What's chapter seven? That's right. Matthew chapter seven is judging, asking, fruit checking, wise and foolish man, golden rule. What is chapter eight? That's right. Chapter eight is centurion servant Peter's mother-in-law, calm sea demoniacs. What's chapter nine? Chapter nine is forgive sins, fastless disciples, woman with an issue, and Jairus's daughter. What's chapter ten? That's correct. Chapter ten is sends the twelve. Okay, that's great. Now you're into the mastery. I'll ask you what chapter it is. You recall the picture in your mind, and then the title for each chapter. You can do this. What's chapter six? That's right. Matthew chapter six is Jesus on giving, praying, fasting, and riches. What's chapter seven? That's right. Matthew chapter seven is judging, asking, fruit checking, wise and foolish man, golden rule. What is chapter eight? That's right. Chapter eight is centurion servant Peter's mother-in-law, calm sea demoniacs. What's chapter nine? Chapter nine is forgive sins, fastless disciples, woman with an issue, and Jairus's daughter. What's chapter ten? That's correct. Chapter ten is sends the twelve. The number system for Matthew chapter eleven through fifteen is chapter eleven are the pole vault uprights. They look like two ones. The pole vault uprights for chapter eleven. Chapter twelve is twelve o'clock, so there'll be a clock in the picture. Chapter thirteen is an unlucky number, kind of like walking under a ladder. So a ladder will trigger number thirteen. Chapter fourteen is. Ten four CB trucker talk, and so it'll have a truck in it for ten four or fourteen. Fifteen is lifting, and so they rhyme. Fifteen is lifting, and so it'll have a picture with somebody lifting something. Okay, that's it. Eleven through fifteen. Let's get into this. Matthew chapter eleven. Chapter eleven is the eleven made by the two poles of the pole vault. John the Baptist questions Jesus. Is John the pelican asking why he must carry Jesus the lamb? The horse is crazy, so it is woe to Corazin. The bed is rest. Matthew chapter twelve. Twelve is the clock at twelve o'clock. Lord of the Sabbath is the minister Humpty opening the church doors. 
Belzebub is the demon-like character ringing the bells on top of the church. Jonah is the whale. My mother and brothers is the woman and children coming out of the whale's mouth. Matthew chapter 13 The number 13 is unlucky, like walking under a ladder. The ladder represents 13. Humpty has a pair of bowls for parables of the kingdom. One bowl has seeds in it. The other has weeds growing. So it's seeds and weeds. Matthew chapter 14 Ten four trucker CB talk is the fourteen. The truck stands for fourteen. John beheaded is the beheading of the pelican. Five thousand is the number of the fish written on the side of the truck. Walks on water is Humpty ice fishing while walking on top of the water. Matthew chapter fifteen. Lifting rhymes with fifteen. Washings is Humpty pouring the water down on the woman, trying to wash her off. Canaanite woman is the woman with the two canes holding up the 4,000-pound table. 4,000 is the weight of the table. Congratulations! You just mastered chapters 11 through 15 of the book of Matthew. Now the challenge is... I'll show you the pictures, and you tell me the title. What's chapter 11? That's right. Chapter 11 is John the Baptist, Jesus, Woe to Chorazin, Rest. What's in chapter 12? That's right. Chapter 12 is Lord of the Sabbath, Belzebub Jonah, my mother and brethren. What's chapter 13? That's correct. Chapter 13 is Parables of the Kingdom, Seeds and Weeds. What's chapter 14? That's right. Chapter 14 is John Beheaded, 5,000, Walks on Water. What's Chapter 15? You got it. Chapter 15 is Lifting, which is Washings, Canaanite Woman, and 4,000. Okay, that's great. Now you're into the mastery. I'll ask you what chapter it is. You recall the picture in your mind and then the title for each chapter. What's chapter 11? That's right. Chapter 11 is John the Baptist, Jesus, Woe to Chorazin, Rest. What's in chapter 12? That's right. Chapter 12 is Lord of the Sabbath, Belzebub Jonah, my mother and brethren. What's chapter 13? That's correct. Chapter 13 is Parables of the Kingdom, Seeds and Weeds. What's chapter 14? That's right. Chapter 14 is John Beheaded, 5,000, Walks on Water. What's chapter 15? You got it. Chapter 15 is Lifting, which is Washings, Canaanite Woman, and 4,000. The number system for chapters 16 through 20. Chapter 16 is six strings on a guitar. So 16 is a guitar with six strings. 
Chapter 17 is a one and seven in the house. The house floor is the number one if you turn your head sideways, and the roof is the number seven. Chapter 18 is a glasses scene where the stem of the glass is number one and the two lenses make the eight. So 18 is glasses. Chapter 19 is a drum. And if you look at the drum, there's a one on one side and a nine on the other to complete the picture of the drum. Chapter 20 is from the old uh, childhood thing, 20 blackbirds. And so there'll be blackbirds in the picture for chapter 20. All right, let's tackle Matthew chapter 16 through 20. Matthew chapter 16. Six strings on the guitar is 16. Jew's sign is the star of David on the end of the bread pan or Humpty's yarmulke. Pharisee's yeast is the bread dough rising. Peter is a dog because he is always yapping. Rock is the rock Satan is throwing at Humpty. Matthew chapter 17. The number 17 is seen in the roof and floor of the building if it turns sideways. Transfiguration is the girdle being pulled, transfiguring Humpty. Hard demon is the little demon pulling hard on Humpty's strings. The fish coin is the fish Humpty is trying to buy from the vending machine with the coin. Matthew chapter 18. The glasses form the number 18, with the lenses being the number 8 and the stem being the 1. Child is the greatest is the one child who is unfairly hit by Humpty, yet he is putting up with it. Church discipline is Humpty disciplining the child in the church pew. Unmerciful servant is Humpty disciplining the wrong child. The ball and chain tells that he is a servant. Matthew chapter 19. Written into the drum are a 1 and a 9, making 19. Divorce is Mrs. Humpty leaving because Humpty will not quit playing the drum. Rich young ruler is Humpty playing his drums with rulers. Matthew chapter 20. 20 is for 20 blackbirds. Parable is the pair of bowls again. Parable of equal wages is Humpty's hands being held out like a balance trying to get equal wages. John's mother's request was for her sons to sit on the right and left hand. So Humpty's right and left hands are outstretched. Humpty has had the birds get at his eyes, so he represents the blind men. Well, that was chapters 16 through 20. Now the challenge is, I'll show you the picture, you tell me the titles. What's chapter 16? That's right. Chapter 16 is Jews sign, Pharisees yeast, Peter rock Satan. What's chapter 17? That's correct. Chapter 17 is Transfiguration, Hard Demon, Fish Coin. What's chapter 18? Yes, chapter 18 is Children, Church Discipline, Unmerciful Servant. What's chapter 19? That's correct. Chapter 19 is Divorce, Rich Young Ruler. What's chapter 20? Perfect. Chapter 20 is Parable of Equal Wages, John's Mother's Request, Blind Man. Now for our second challenge. I'll give you just the number of the chapter you picture in your mind the picture and come up with the titles yourself. 
chapters 16 to 20. You can do this. What's chapter 16? That's right. Chapter 16 is Jews sign, Pharisees yeast, Peter rock Satan. What's chapter 17? That's correct. Chapter 17 is Transfiguration, Hard Demon, Fish Coin. What's chapter 18? Yes, chapter 18 is Children, Church Discipline, Unmerciful Servant. What's chapter 19? That's correct. Chapter 19 is Divorce, Rich Young Ruler. What's Chapter 20? Perfect. Chapter 20 is Parable of Equal Wages, John's Mother's Request, Blind Man. The number system for the last eight chapters here, our Chapter 21, is a coat hanger which is a, a one, looks like a one, and the hanger itself looks like a number two. So a coat tree and a hanger for a 21. 22 are two twos in the shape of a heart. And you'll notice the one, two is the correct way, and then kind of like you're dyslexic, the second two is turned around backwards to make the heart. So the hearts then will tell us 22. 23 is plenty keys kind of rhymes. 23 is plenty keys, so there'll be keys in the picture for 23. Chapter 24 is a 24-hour pizzeria, and so you'll have a pizza guy that's open 24 hours, so it's 24. 25 is two fives, or two sets of five toes, um, and the barefoot being barefoot. Okay, so two sets of fives on two sets of barefoot toes, 25, two fives. 26 is two picks. Two picks is 26, kind of rhymes. 27 is two sevens on the sails of a boat. The one will be a proper seven. The other one will be flipped around backwards for two sevens for 27. And then finally, chapter 28 will be two earrings on each of the women. The two earrings are the number eight on their earrings. So two eights uh, for the earrings on number 28. That's the number system. Now let's get into it. Matthew chapter 21. The hanger is the two, and the hitching post is the one that makes 21. Colt is the horse on which Humpty is riding. Palm Sunday is the palm branch Humpty is fanning himself on a sunny day. Fig is the Fig Newton cookie being hit into Humpty. By what authority is the officer trying to stop the boy from hitting Humpty? Two sons is the officer and bad boy who are brothers. Wicked Tenants is the wicked tennis player. Matthew chapter 22. The 22 is seen in the hearts on the frame. The heart is composed of a number 2 with another 2 backwards. Wedding invitations, all with the answer no, are scattered on the floor. Tribute is a skeleton asking for donations at the entrance. Resurrection is a skeleton. Greatest command is to love. Humpty is advising the couple getting married to love each other. Matthew chapter 23. 23 is plenty keys as a rhyme for the number. Jesus is the lamb on the back of the man who looks like a Pharisee. So, Jesus on Pharisees. Matthew chapter 24. Two ways to get 24. First, the pizzeria is open 24 hours. Second, the cook's mustache is two fours. The cook has an olive in his hand and is about to give a talk or a discourse on the benefits of olives. 
This is the Olivet Discourse. On end times is the timer on the table. Matthew chapter 25. 25 is two fives, the piano players, two sets of five toes. The ten bridesmaids are the ten singing girls. Talents is the talented girl playing the piano. Sheep and goats is Humpty dancing with the goat on the top of the piano. Matthew chapter 26. The number 26 is two picks. The dog is anointed by the juices flowing out of Humpty's back. Betrayed is Humpty being stabbed in the back. Passover is Humpty falling and passing over the kayak-faced individual. Gethsemane is Humpty as he is passing over, folding his hands in prayer. Gethsemane is where Jesus prayed. Caiaphas is the kayak-faced person with the pick. Peter is the dog shaking his head that he didn't do it. This is Peter's denial. Matthew chapter 27. The two sevens that make up the sail on the boat compose the number 27. Judas hanged is the guy hung off the boat. Barabbas is Barbel Rabbas, the fellow lifting weights on the sail. Crucified is the cross being used for the mast. Joseph of Arimathea is Joe Arithmetic, which is Humpty on an adding machine. Matthew chapter 28. The number 28 is made of two eights in the woman's earrings. Resurrection is the caption with the open tomb and the angel. Rumor is the telling of the story repeated over the telephone. Great commission is Humpty paying for all the telephone calls. It is a great commission he is paying to the telephone company. Now we're going to give you the pictures and you respond with the titles. What's chapter 21? Yes, this is a long one. Chapter 21. Colt, Palm Sunday, Fig, By What Authority, Two Sons, Wicked Tenants. What's chapter 22? That's correct. Chapter 22. Marriage Feast, Invitations, Tribute, Resurrection, and Greatest Command. What's chapter 23? 23. Plenty keys. That's easy. Jesus on Pharisees. What's chapter 24? That's right, chapter 24, Olivet Discourse, End Times. What's chapter 25? That's correct, chapter 25, Ten Bridesmaids, Talents, Sheep and Goats. What's chapter 26? 26, a big one with two picks, Anointed, Betrayed, Passover, Gethsemane, Caiaphas, Peter's Denial. What's chapter 27? That's right, chapter 27, winding down here, Judas hanged, Barabbas, crucified, and Joseph of Arimathea. And what's chapter 28? That's right, the last one, chapter 28, Resurrected, Rumor, Great Commission. Now the second challenge. We just give you the number and you think of the picture and respond with the title. What's chapter 21? Yes, this is a long one. Chapter 21, Colt, 
Palm Sunday, Fig, by what authority, Two Sons, Wicked Tenants. What's Chapter 22? That's correct. Chapter 22, Marriage Feast, Invitations, Tribute, Resurrection, and Greatest Command. What's Chapter 23? 23, Plenty Keys, That's Easy, Jesus on Pharisees. What's Chapter 24? That's right, Chapter 24, Olivet Discourse, End Times. What's Chapter 25? Chapter 25, Ten Bridesmaids, Talents, Sheep and Goats. What's Chapter 26? 26, a big one with two picks. Anointed, Betrayed, Passover, Gethsemane, Caiaphas, Peter's Denial. What's chapter 27? That's right, chapter 27, winding down here. Judas hanged, Barabbas, crucified, and Joseph of Arimathea. And what's chapter 28? That's right, the last one, chapter 28, Resurrected, Rumor, Great Commission. Congratulations! You've done all 28 chapters of the book of Matthew. Now you can have a large overview of the book, and you can see how it fits together chapter by chapter, seeing the sequences and noticing correspondences, kind of from the discourse level, or from the 30,000-foot view looking down on the book. Now, it's great. You can jump in and start reading the book for yourself, noting those kind of connections. Congratulations! Do review these pictures every once in a while, and it will stick in your head almost indefinitely.